Hi, my dear YouTube fragrance friends. Welcome to my channel. Today I am coming to you uh, with a review of this perfume and the topic will be simply the joy of wearing this uh, dupe for Baccarat Rouge. So uh, thank you for being together with me in this channel and watching this review and um, I would like to tell you that um, I was using Middle Eastern perfumes like for quite few months there now and this week as well I was trying one Middle Eastern perfume after the other and trying and trying and trying and um, some of them requires more more like a confidence you know to, um, to wear them and some of them doesn't require anything you know so some of them it's easier to reach for some of them is more difficult some of them are too sharp some of them more masculine and some of them are just uh you know in, it could be in many many ways but this particular perfume <laughs> i always liked it i liked it guys from the first time when i bought it also it's a dupe for Baccarat Rouge guys a dupe for Baccarat Rouge which i never bought i never bought Baccarat Rouge so so what I have here, guys, is basically dupe for Baccarat Rouge. <laughs> to me, Baccarat Rouge is a bit more too expensive. And for that reason that it's so, so expensive, you wouldn't see a lot of people wearing this perfume, guys, because it's too expensive. Uh, so I got this dupe, guys. It's Anna Bies Rouge. Um, What's this written? It's rouge. It's written rouge, guys. And the notes of this perfume would be uh, there is pear, there is um, concat, uh, and there is um, uh, cardamom, there is coriander, there is bergamot, there is vetiver, there is ambergris as well. And um, it doesn't say saffron in this perfume, but I think in other websites it would say that there is saffron. And especially when it's duped to Baccarat Rouge, I think there must be saffron in it. There must be. Like in the description, it says, it uh, describes this perfume in uh, many, many ways. It says all of those possible words what you could use, you know. It's like spicy, warm type of, um, you know, citrusy, uh, <laughs> like um, aromatic, uh, balsamic, you know, all of those words they use. I don't think they use the word fresh, which is correct because this perfume is not fresh, guys. Let me explain you guys how did I felt today. So I didn't use this perfume for um, some time uh, because I was trying many other ones. <clears throat> so when I came back to, to it again, I immediately um, realized, guys, that I... I really, really like this perfume. Uh, when I used it today, I felt elevated with this perfume. I was feeling all over me. I also actually felt rich while wearing this perfume. It's no wonder because it's due for Baccarat Rouge. I felt it's unique, you know. I felt it's like piercing the air, this perfume, you know. And it's, I felt it's feminine too, you know, I, I felt very kind of sweet and warm, you know, like this type of perfume. I felt very, very nice. And I resprayed it today once, you know, I will respray it again because I wanted to continue. I want to continue feeling this perfume, the longevity of this perfume, guys. It's very nice. The longevity, you know, even though <laughs> you might feel this perfume kind of like a, uh, is synthetic at the beginning you might feel it but it goes away and it makes you feel rich in a cheap way because this perfume is cheap you know the price is 16 euro on 16 pounds on amazon and um, 60 mil you know so it ha it uh, <coughs> so basically it has been already few months since I had this perfume and I have to use other perfumes as well. So I I you know this perfume will go go uh, you know I will consume this from the beginning until the end for sure because it's so nice and I I guys really recommend you to try this perfume. You know if you want to smell perfume you know that smells rich <clears throat> but you don't need to spend a lot of money really give it a go i don't know who wouldn't like this perfume i don't know who would decide to, to throw it away you know after buying it because it's no need to throw it away this perfume it's a, i think it's a keeper this perfume it's a keeper and um, 
you know, not many people knows Baccarat Rouge, guys, because that one is too expensive. So because that one is too expensive, it's only people would buy, you know, similar smelling perfumes, those who are into perfumes in general. And uh, uh, mostly other people would <coughs> would continue with uh, those designer perfumes. And for that reason, uh, if you spray on yourself something like this one, you will immediately um, you know, make yourself uh, smell, uh, you know, outstanding out of the crowd uh, with this perfume. And probably you will make, uh, yes, you know, others wonder what type of perfume are you wearing. I have never, <coughs> excuse me, got compliments yet with this perfume. But I was complimenting myself all the time. And I believe others probably might feel very pleasant around you, you know, with this nice, nice perfume, guys. So, also, I think sometimes I feel a little bit of Izoi super note. Um, it's very rare to feel it, but I felt it. I did felt it in the cooler air. I felt some kind of, <coughs> excuse me, like Izoi super vibe. You know, I really, really felt it. So, it's such a complex, warm, spicy perfume, guys, that I really wish you would try uh, once, once, once for a while, you know, once, uh, mm -hmm. at least once in, 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 in your life, try this perfume or any other dupe for Baccarat Rouge. There is some kind of another brand, Al Hermain. I heard that uh, is even better copy of Baccarat Rouge. In future, I might try it, but, <coughs> excuse me, so far as a, <coughs> as a first go for Baccarat Rouge as a clone, I'm very, very happy, guys. Also, I'm happy uh, with Ragba from Latafa. This is perfume is from Latafa. As well, I was very happy this week with uh, um, Amira Lood by Latafa, intense version. I was very happy with it. Um, opulent Oud was a bit stronger there, you know, not as pleasing as this that I just mentioned, but <laughs> it's so nice to try. Any perfume that you try is nice to try, guys. So, I think, guys, I will finish... Mm, my video with this nice type of update really thumbs up you know thumbs up uh, for this perfume guys buy it don't be afraid of it you know the price is just brilliant guys brilliant brilliant that's all what i could say i will come back to you soon guys and see you soon like this video uh, have a nice day everyone